Hi there, once again, good evening. This is Rakesh Rao here from Design Sense Software Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you the construction grid tool in CAT Power. You can find it under Draw Geometry Construction Grid. And this is a tool using which you can create a rectangular or circular grid, both regular as well as irregular. So first, let us look at the rectangular grid. So we have uh, both options ticked here, horizontal and vertical, and the placement is automatic. The grid size is 100 by 100. The starting grid number horizontal is A, vertical is 1, that's fine. Text height is 10. And you can set the layers for the lines, labels, circles, and so on. When you say OK, already you can see that the snap is set to 100. So you can get an idea of the area that you're working on. So I'm going to choose this, the lower corner of the grid. And this is the upper corner of the grid. And you can see the numbering A, B, C, D in horizontal and 1, 2, 3 in vertical. So this is an example of a rectangular grid. There are other options as well. For example, you can use the interactive option and create the grid in a irregular uh, direction. Say for example, if my first primary direction is this way, which is quite often common in construction and in laying out of you know uh, parts within a machine and so on. So I can choose manually, I can choose where my grid line should come. And I can also enter a value here. For example, I want the next line at a distance of 75 from the previous one, then I can key in the value, let's say 25 and so on. So once I'm done with one direction, I can press enter and go to the other direction. I show the first line and then once again, I can create my irregular grid and I can type in the values as well. So you can create both regular as well as irregular grids using the construction grid command. There are more options in this command. For example, let us try the circular option. Let's go for automatic. You can see the start angle is zero, end angle is 360 and the interval is 30, which is pretty self-explanatory. So this is my center of the grid. This is the inner point and this is the outer point. So it has created the grid quite fast and all the parameters can be very easily controlled like the size of the circle, the text height, the numbers where it should start and where it should end and so on. You have an interactive option as well in the circular grid. So if I choose that, you can see what happens. This is the center, this is the inner point, this is the first point. Now wherever I pick, the grid is created exactly in that location. So this is an interactive option. You can also type the distance from the last point. Say for example, if I want the next grid line to be at a distance of 100 from the inner point, I can type 100i. So 100i, so this distance is now 100. Or I can type something like 25o. So 25 ohm means the di this distance from this point to this point is 25. So I means inner and O means outer. So you can see it's already mentioned in the prompts here. Please suffix I for inner and O for outer distances and A for angles. So what angle means, let's say if I want the next grid at an angle of 45 degrees from the previous one, I'm going to write 45A. So now this grid is 34 is at an angle of 45 from 33. So you can choose by doing a mix and match of any uh, angle or distance combinations or even the manual inputs. Once you're done, you can press enter and it is going to draw the outer connections of the grid. So using this, you can create a nice uh, network like a cobweb network of grid which you can use further on for you know your design purposes once the main grid lines are placed you can now place the inner points as well say for example I want to place a point here so I'm going to click here 
so since i chose this already the o snap is set to mid so it has drawn it here instead i could go and say nearest to this so i can pick any point so you can create the inner points of the grid as well and if you know the distance for example if you want to create a grid line at a distance of 50 from the outer edge so here you can type press enter and type let's say 50 o so 50 o means you can see it's at a distance of 50 from the outer point or if i say 25 i so that means it's at a distance of um, let's say 25 i so that means it's at a distance of 25 from inside so you can get perfect control of your grid in terms of both distances angles and manual pick that is freehand grid creation now this is quite a useful tool in many uh, engineering purposes design purposes where you want to you know create a um, reference system of uh, beams or panels or whatever and then place your things on it thank you for watching this video and do feel free to get back to us if you have any questions you can also find the download links at the end of this video thank you